There was an overwhelming number of entries right through the country. The judging this year was actually very fun. It's exciting at the same time, it's quite nerve-wracking. It's been a very long journey, lots of artworks were entered. The standard is indescribably high. Experimental kind of works that came through this year, things that move, things that you interact with. More paintings this time, ceramics, even glass works, paper works. Originality, honesty. Some of the highlights were in fact the digital works and the, the digital animation. Very relevant, very today. All sort of cutting it within their own different approaches. I think it will be something that's very exciting, especially for newcomers. I think the people should come and support it and come and have a look and see what the youngsters are bringing to the museum for us to come and enjoy. This competition is an illustrious catchment area for young art talents. The solo exhibition was part of my master's and I just felt that I haven't quite exhausted the subject yet and it, the show has never been shown, it was only part of the exam. The idea was to highlight the seamstresses, those ones that have no voice and that's hence the title paying homage and the meaning of the word homage is giving an honour in a public space. Now, having worked on it for a year, taking it further, it's really a wonderful opportunity to be back in the same space and almost have a relaxed <laughs> feeling. Sassel 2017, most exciting year, probably a record number of uh, entries, attendees to our uh, road shows and information sessions and it uh, showed in the quality of the work and the fact that we have uh, quite a couple more finalist works this year than we have had in the past, which proves that what uh, the sponsors are doing and what the competition aims to do and the target market they aim to re reach is working pretty well. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cecil New Signatures opening and award ceremony. It affords an exciting look of how the visual arts will develop in our country. It's truly a pleasure for me to join you tonight at what is my first Sassel New Signature Award event and I tell you it is not going to be the last. Uh, the Merit Award winners uh, are the recipients of the 10,000 Rand cash prize. Gretchen Krotz from Johannesburg for her work Dr. Krotz effed up anatomy. I'm really excited. Um, as I said, it's my first big art event. Huitiona Murani from Pretoria for her piece, Mosadi Utarati Bakabohale. It's very overwhelming. I don't know, I never expected this. I feel so privileged, so honored. Carol Preston, all the way from Pretoria for her piece, Cocoon. Thank you. <laughs> And that's the most exciting part for me because the audience is part of my artwork. Emily Robertson, all the way from Cape Town, for two pieces, emergency procedure for dinner with family and in case of surprise visit from parents. I was kind of shocked that mine was selected because there's some really, really beautiful things and people are really pushing mediums and working really, really hard. Cara Jo Trudeau for her piece Wondering! Well, it is awesome to be one of them. Just to know that then you get a little bit more extra care. People will know more about your work. They will actually know what it's about. So it gives me great pleasure to announce the runner-up of the Cecil New Signatures 2017 is Atenwa Latuli for a work, Umbago, which means conflict. So for me to see the value of this level that I've reached of top seven is that they had to bring me from Germany to attend this ceremony. It gives me pleasure to announce the winner of the Sassel New Signatures 2017, Lebo Hang Kane, for a work called Kessale Teng. Jeez, I'm so lost in it. Um, I put a lot into this work that I submitted for the competition. I, I really have no words. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Thank you for such a great opportunity. A lot of artists that I know that have received this award have gone and become really great. They're people that I aspire to be like. I'd like to thank my family um, because the project, as I said, is a, it's, it's inspired by them. I think the work creates some sort of balance between memory and fantasy. And I look forward to a new body of work. I mean, having a solo show is a big deal. And I think that there's such few opportunities in South Africa that give you the funding and give you a space for a solo show. 
First, I'd like to congratulate all the artists and I'd like to thank all the partners that we have as Sasol in this, in this program. I want to also congratulate wholeheartedly Lebo Hankani. I think just listening to what inspired her work has been for us and for me personally such a good story to be told. This evening is always the highlight on the calendar of the local art scene in South Africa and once again the, uh, the public turned up, the sponsors worked their magic and it was a fantastic eventful evening. So we are really, really proud as Sasol to have been able for 28 years, been able to create this, this space that gives artists an opportunity to show their work and express their passion. It's been a great event and the, the involvement of people and the participation of people and just so many, many people turning up to see this great work that's been done by the artists is really heartwarming.